Hey everybody, T-Shirt Booth here. Um, there's been a lot of uh, comments in the forum um, on people getting stuck installing the Game Salad Viewer on their device. So, uh, in the best way that I can, I'm going to show you how to do this in the uh, YouTube's 10 minute limit. So, basically, you want to quickly um, log into iPhone Dev Center um, and then go over to iPhone Provisioning Portal. Click on that. Now, if you haven't done so already, you're going to need to include your device ID. And to do that, you just go add device. And here you make a device name. So I will do my iPhone. And with your device plugged into the USB, um, you're going to want to get your device ID. So to do that, click on the Apple at the top of the screen. Go about this Mac. More info. And then go down here to USB and under the USBs you'll see your iPhone and then serial number it's right here you just click this copy then close that and then paste that right in here and go submit now I already have mine there so I'm not going to submit um, but that's the quickest and easiest way to do that once that's done you want to go into app IDs and you're gonna make one for game salads so you're gonna hit new app ID and then you're going to create a name called Game Salad. I already have Game Salad done, so I'm just going to go GS for Game Salad. And then um, you're going to have this generate new on its own. You're not going to use this. And then down here, um, you have to put your bundle identifier. And this you make up yourself. Most people use their domain name, so it would be com.tshirtbooth. And then our... Um, our app ID is you'd put game salad I'm gonna put GS now if you don't have a domain you can put make up something here but make up something that no one else would have so like your name or your company name or something like that with a couple numbers just so no one else has it um, and then you're gonna go submit now once you have that you'll go down to provisioning and there's two types there's three types actually there's development and then distribution for, for, for the game seller viewer, you're going to use development. For distribution, that's when you want to make an ad hoc or um, when you're ready to submit to iTunes. So for development, you go new profile. And I called this GS. You're going to type yours game salad. Um, and then you're going to use your certificates that you've already created um, in the first tutorial that game salad has on their website. Um, I'll try to do it one for that also uh, later, but hopefully you've already gotten this far. Um, so I'll click this. And then for the app ID, which is what we just created, that's the GS that I did. Yours will say Game Salad. And then your device that you added will be here, um, or you may have lots of devices like I do. You're going to go Select All and go Submit. That's going to take you back to the development page, and you're going to see here that the GS is pending. All you do is quickly hit Development again, and it should be active within seconds. If it's any longer than two minutes, something went wrong, just delete it. Uh, or not delete it, you can't delete it, but uh, oh yeah, you can delete it, and then just start again because um, really it takes seconds then you hit download and that will download it to right here make sure your device is plugged in and then double click on on the mobile provisioning we just uh, done and it's going to open up the organizer window you're going to see your device on the side there and when you open this up, you may not see these windows it may just be a box here that says use for development you click that and then these boxes will pop up um, once if, if that's the case then these boxes just pop up after you hit that you'll have to go back and click this again so it can add the provisioning for that device okay once you do that you're gonna see all their stuff here you can shrink that you can close this Xcode should have opened up and um, you should have already have downloaded your I, uh, iPhone viewer. So you're going to click on that. And inside that package that you downloaded on Game Salad for the iPhone viewer, you're going to see Game Salad Viewer dot Xcode Project. You're going to double click that. And it's going to open up here in Xcode. Okay. You're looking for. That's uh, here somewhere info.plist and if you look here down here bundle identifier com.gandhigames.gamesaladviewer you're going to double click this 
and you're going to enter what you did uh, com dot t shirt booth dot gs um, that's what you made earlier then you're going to go up here where it says game salad viewer you're going to right click and go get info and when this pops up here you want to go into build and then you're going to type in code s because you're looking for code signing and right here you're going you're going to see um, the provisioning that you downloaded um, and mine says um, right here uh, com.tshirtbooth.gs and you'll see that it's black so you're going to want to select that one and then you'll hit the uh, the x and then you're going to hit build and run and it's going to ask if you want to save you go save all and down here in the bottom corner you're going to see building copying linking building and what this is doing right now is it's running it on your on your phone you're going to go allow if those pop up see installing game salad viewer dot app on Jill's iPhone starting launching running now sometimes it says error or debug the program debug is not running it's fine um, it happens a lot um, don't know why uh, but if you look on your device now you will see the game salad viewer on there um, that's pretty much it to get it on there once it's on there, you have to make sure that your your device's Wi-Fi is running. And then if it is running, you go into your game salad. I'm going to go new project. And then I'm going to open up the game salad viewer on my device. And just give me a second here. I got to turn my Wi-Fi on. Okay, Wi-Fi is on. Okay, so I'm going to open up the Game Salad Viewer. And now you can see that it popped up here. So you can just simply hit Preview and it will send your game to your device. And I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, post in the forums and someone will be happy to help.